Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to do BFS bed first search in C++ in a procedural manner. As in most of the times on the net you'll find it in an object oriented fashion but here I'm going to show you how to do it in a procedural way. So first for the adjacency list of the graph I'm using a vector of integer and an array of that saying graph. And a size can be anything. So here I'm taking 4. Suppose the size of the graph or the number of vertices are 4 and then I will be using an integer array which will keep track of whether the node is visited or not. Initially all the nodes are not visited so 0 and I will be using another function bfs which, uh, which won't return anything but it will take a value of q as, as we will be using a q to perform our bfs as it's generally done. So, suppose we're given n edges, and so I'll do c in n. I'm taking in the number of edges, and according to that, I'll perform the BFS. So here, in this loop, in this while loop, we're going to connect the graph, or we're going to make the graph. So I'll say x and y. I'm taking in x, and I'm taking in y, and I'm saying that, so here x and y are connected x to y connected as it's a directed graph okay so that means that in the adjacent list, adjacent list of x y is there so push back y so if x is connected to y meaning simply that in the adjacent list of x add y now to do the BFS itself. Alright, BFS. Or rather, how to do the BFS? I'll move over, or I'll iterate over all the nodes in my graph, which is here 4, and then what I'll do is I'll perform BFS starting from the first node, and likewise I'll move forward. So I'll say if the node is not visited, so if the visited is 0, then this will be 1. So what we have to do is, we add it to our queue, queue dot push the number, and then we make the visited as true for that number, and then we perform BFS on that. So writing the code for BFS, white BFS, it's taking in a value of taking in Q, having the name Q of integer. Now, what I'll do inside the Q is I'll say while Q dot size, meaning that if the size of the Q is greater than zero, meaning if there's still something inside the Q then we keep on doing it till it's not empty. When it's empty, we move out of the while loop. So what I'll do inside is, first I'll pop out the front element. So front, q.front. Using q.front, I'll get the first value of the q and I'll pop that value. q.pop. And now I'll make what I'll do is, I'll move inside the adjacency list of that popped element. Inside the adjacency list of popped element. So for that I'll say int i is equal to 0, i less than g of p dot size as g of p contains the adjacency list of p or for i, g of i is the vector containing the adjacency list of i. So inside this loop, I'll get all the elements in the adjacency list of p. So again I'm saying if it is not visited, if visited of g of p of i, if it's not visited, then what do I do? Then 
I add it to the front of the queue. Q dot push that element g of p of i and again I make its visited is true as now I visited it. So now its visited is true. Here I'll also print the popped element so I can show you the order in which the BFS is done. So So we pop the element out from the queue, the first element, and then we move inside the adjacent list of that element and so the neighbors of that element basically. And if we found a node which is not visited, then we push it into the queue, add it to the back of the queue, and make it visited as one. So let's try to run this. This queue was not declared in the scope. Oh, we didn't declare the queue. So we have queue of int queue. Here we go. So I'll take an example from Geeks for Geeks where let's say we have six edges and the edges are connected like this. Zero is connected to two. 2 is connected to 0 and 0 is connected to 1, 1 is connected to 2 and 2 is connected to 3 and 3 is connected to itself. So as you can see the values starting from 0 are coming out to be 0, 2, 1, 3. So if we take a pen and paper and plot the graph according to these connected vertices then you'll find that the BFS is being done in this way only. So to sum up basically we're using uh, an array of vector to show the adjacency list and you can remove this you can change this to put the size put in the size of the graph and then basically using that what you're doing is you're making the adjacency list over here in this while loop according to the edges given then in this loop, you're iterating over all the nodes. If it's not visited, you're pushing it into the queue, you're making it visited, and you perform BFS with that queue. And in the BFS, while the queue is not empty, you keep on popping one element, and you go into the adjacent list of that element, and you keep on pushing it to the queue. So this is how you do BFS in C++ in a easy and simple procedural manner. Thank you.